Police say a masked gunman kidnapped a Tulane student from a home near campus while his friends slept inside. Yeah, the NOPD says it happened at a home on Willow Street. Andres Fuentes spoke to some of the victims in that home, and they say several people stole valuable items from them before forcing their friend in a car at gunpoint. We would have never expect that. Okay. And the, like the police that we talked to also said that like this has never happened before. Some of the victims who Fox 8 is choosing not to identify tell us all six people inside the home were asleep early Wednesday morning and forgot to lock one of the doors. They say masked armed robbers woke up a student sleeping on a couch on the first floor around three o'clock in the morning. We were sleeping through the whole thing. But he really like went through a traumatizing experience. Two people in the house originally came. One guy held him at gunpoint, asking him questions while another person was taking stuff. And then apparently there were two, uh, one one male and one female in the car. They took like a bunch of my shoes and like my suits. So I got my AirPods stolen, my duffel bag, a couple miscellaneous things. One of the victims says the suspects then forced the student that they woke up into the car and drove off with stolen credit cards. They went around to a couple gas stations, maxed out our cards. And after hours of driving around the city and taking out money from ATMs, NOPD says that the kidnapper dropped off the Tulane student right here at St. Charles and Jefferson. He then ran all the way back around two miles to the home on Willow Street and told his friends what had happened. Everyone would seem like Kind of in shock at what happened. Um, he got his phone stolen, so I haven't really been able to contact him. Um, but yeah, we're just happy he's okay. Police say they're searching for the masked gunmen. Meanwhile, the students say they don't expect to get back any of their belongings. Uh, probably not. Reporting Uptown, Andres Fuentes, Fox 8, Local First.